Okay, so we'll start on our backs today. Just lying down and taking some space. You can bring a pillow um, behind your head. If you have something to cover your eyes, you can use it here. We'll be doing a 60 minute class. Um, we'll be having some balancing as well as more of a yin restorative practice. Here, close your eyes, cover your eyes with something and start to bring your attention to your breath. Slowly breathing through your nose and exhaling out of your mouth. Take the opportunity here just to breathe in and then breathe out anything that's been going on. So you can do this fairly loudly if you like, just inhaling through your nose, filling up your chest, and then just exhaling loudly, letting it all go. And do this a few times. Inhale through your nose, and then just a big exhale out of your mouth. Let your breath slow down. You can bring a hand to your chest, one to your belly. And just slowly notice how your belly rises and falls with every inhale and exhale the movement of your body here. Slowly here, we'll just do maybe two or three square breathing exercises. So that's inhaling, holding your breath, exhaling, holding your breath and each time we'll do it to count of four. So inhale here through your nose for one, two, three, four. Hold your breath for four, three, two, one. Exhale from your mouth, four, three, two, one. Hold your breath, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, and hold your breath, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold your breath, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, and hold your breath, one, two, three, four. Slowly here, bring your knees into your chest. <laughs> Rock yourself side to side on your back. You can bring your knees a little wider so your knees are out on, your, on the sides of your torso, rocking side to side. Then bring your feet down to the ground. Here, keep your feet about mat width apart. And then just windshield wiper your legs, so bringing your knees down to the ground. Just warming up. Stretching out a little bit here. And then come back to neutral. Slowly come on to your right or left side into a tabletop position. <clears throat> Here you can have something underneath your knees just for some comfort. Keep your hands about underneath your, your shoulders here. And here you can start to move your spine freely, moving your hips side to side. 
Or if you like, you can do the cat cow, rounding your back, tucking your head and curling your back, bringing your head forward and up. Otherwise, you can always do circles with your torso. So with your torso going down towards the left, upward towards the right. And then switching sides when you're ready. But here, just giving some movement to our spine. When you're ready, <clears throat> tuck your toes. So bring your tippy toes on the ground underneath your feet. And then just lean back onto your heels. You can either stay here on your heels, or if this is too much for your feet today, you can always just bring your feet flat on the ground, sit on a pillow, and just rest here in a seated position. So whichever one is good. So here I'll do it on my toes. And then here, we're just going to stretch out our back a little bit. So, and our shoulders. So just start to do circular rotations with your shoulders, bringing your shoulders back behind you. Your shoulders are going up to your ears. Big shoulder circles. At any point when this becomes too much for your toes, just readjust your feet and flatten them on the ground. And then slowly rotate your shoulders forward. Slowly bring your right hand up into the air towards the ceiling. And then lower it behind you, behind your back. You can either try to join your left hand to your right hand or you can grab a strap <clears throat> and hold this behind you. In this position, just keep your neck long. Your face is facing forward. Keep your back long as well. And your chest is open. Slowly release the strap, bring your hands back by your side. Here, it might feel good to rotate the shoulders again. Just shake them out a little bit. And then bring your left hand up into the air. And then behind you, reaching behind you here, hands reaching together, touching if anything is possible. Otherwise, you can always use the strap. Readjust, your neck is long, as if you're being pulled towards the ceiling. And chest is open. Here, if your feet are starting to hurt, you can always come down, open your feet, flatten your feet on the ground. Or readjust, come back onto your tippy toes if you are down. And slowly here, release the strap by your side and then bring your hands behind you here and you're holding on to your elbows and chest is wide here lift your neck up your neck is long your shoulders are open and slowly bring your hands back to front. It might feel good. Once again, rotate the shoulders, move it out. And then what we'll do is bring the left, the right arm underneath your left. So right arm goes underneath the left arm. And here you have your arms are kind of blocking your view. Arms are parallel. And you're feeling the stretch in your back. You can close your eyes here. And just imagine the muscle striations, what it might look like. Bring your attention to the sensation in your back. 
If you've been on your toes the full time, I would suggest coming down, flattening your feet behind you. Inhale, and then exhale out of your mouth. Slowly unwrap your arms. Maybe move around your shoulders. And then this time the left arm goes underneath the right. Same thing, arms are parallel. You can always hug the shoulders. And in this position, the arms are still parallel. Notice the, the back, how it feels. Does it feel a little looser? And then slowly bring your arms down. Here, if it feels good to bring your hands behind you, pulling your arms behind you, you can do that. And then bring your hands by your front on your legs. And then we're just gonna do some uh, shoulder, the stretching for the neck. So bring your chin towards your chest, keeping your back long and feeling the pull down your back. Some days, at least for me, it goes pretty far down the back. So just move slowly here. When something is hurting or you're trying to stress something out, bring your attention to the pain, but it's more that you're breathing through it. So here you're breathing and you're bringing your attention to the muscles in the back. And then as you do this, you're noticing how the stretch is becoming a little easier, even without moving, without changing anything, without intensifying. Slowly here, start to bring your head, rolling it over to the right side, stretching out the left side of the neck. Playing with the position of your neck here, finding the part that needs to be stretched a little bit more. Maybe bringing your hand up to your neck just to help it along, maybe give it a little bit of a massage here, push into a knot, whatever you might need. Tilting your chin forward and back, seeing how that feels. And then slowly roll your head back to center and over to the left side. So giving a stretch to the right side of the neck. And here, similar, playing with this, moving your head forward and back, shifting your chin. One side might feel looser than the other or more, more tight. Bring your hand to your neck if you need. And then slowly bring your head back to center, looking straight ahead. And then slowly come back here. If you are on flat feet, come back onto your tippy toes and bring your blocks with you here. So you have your blocks in front of you, about shoulder width apart. And we're back on our tippy toes. So we had given our tippy toes a little break. Back on the tippy toes, it won't be so intense this time. And then here, bring a bend into your elbows and place the back of your arm on the tops of the block. Here the blocks are on the highest level. Bringing your elbows down, your arms are on the blocks. And then here, let your head fall between the blocks. You can bring your hands together above your head. And just let your head hang. Let go of the weight in your head.
And bring your attention to the breathing here in this position. Noticing your breath, if it feels a bit constrained, bringing some attention to it, inhaling a little bit more purposefully and exhaling. If your toes are hurting, always flip out your toes. It's not an issue. Maybe bring a pillow underneath your bum, readjust the position. Notice here if you're holding any tension in your eyebrows. Let it go if you're holding your jaw a little too tightly. And then slowly come up, lift your head up, bring your hands by your side with the, next to your blocks and place the blocks aside. And here, flip out your toes if you're on your tippy toes. And just tap the tops of your feet on the ground. Maybe rub your tops of your feet on the floor. And then slowly here, what we're gonna do is bring our, our um, left foot through in front of us, okay? From tabletop, you're bringing your left foot in front. Here you might put a pillow underneath your right knee or something just for comfort. And here our left foot is in front of us. Hinge your right foot, pull your knee back so that your right leg is long. Here you can stay here, bringing attention to your neck alignment, that your hands are right underneath your shoulders. You can stay here with your hands on the ground and your left foot is about 90 degrees here. You have your knee right over your ankle. Otherwise, if you have the props, you can always bring them here inside, keeping your left foot outside the blocks and keeping tall here. So. Your head is tall, pulled towards the ceiling. And here, notice your shoulders, if your shoulders are going towards your ears, bring your shoulders back. You might even try to rotate your shoulders behind you here in this position, keeping them back behind you. And stay tall and long in this position, feeling the stretch in the inside of your left leg, as well as the inside of the, the front part of your right leg. So you can keep your gaze this way and hold this position if this feels comfortable. Otherwise, if you like, with your blocks, you can lower yourself down on your forearm, forearms onto the blocks. If they're on the higher level or if you're able to lower them to a lower level, whatever feels good and accessible for you. Whatever position you take, always keep in mind what you're doing with your neck and your shoulders that you're not causing yourself additional injury here. Here, you can even, in any of these poses, wherever your torso is at, you can start to bring the pressure of your, on the left leg, you're kind of going on the exterior of the left foot. So you're opening up your foot a little bit onto the side. This leg is opening up a little bit, bringing the stretch a little further into your left leg, if you like. Otherwise, you can always keep your leg flat, your foot flat on the ground. Here, if your mind is wandering, you're thinking, oh my gosh, what is this? If today is one of those days and your mind is going everywhere, 
bring your attention back to the breath. You can try to do the square breathing. So inhaling, counting to four, holding your breath for four, exhaling for four, holding your breath for four. Slowly here, if you've lowered yourself down on the block, come back up, hands on the block. And then also here, shift your your foot, your left foot back in. And bring your left foot, the left block outside your left foot. And here you can shorten your stance a bit and make it a little less intense. And what we're going to do is bring our weight onto our left leg. That's so more for balancing here. And then slowly bring your hands up to the sky. Not holding this too long. Your hands are reaching towards the ceiling, gaze is up. And just slightly bring your gaze behind you. Just looking and working on your balance here. You might fall out of it. It's okay. This is what we're working on. Come back, hands back on the block. Great. Slowly here, bring your left foot back. Back in tabletop, hands go back on the ground. Pillow goes to the other knee. Here, if it feels good, you can always do some cat-cow movement. You can push it, but then downward facing dog. Come into a child's pose when you sit down onto your feet and stretch out the front. So whatever feels good, go for it here. And then come back to tabletop. And this time, bring your right foot up in front of you. Place the prop underneath your left leg. Here, you're hinging your left foot. Hinge your left foot and pull your knee back behind you. Stretching out the front here. Here, your foot is inside for your Right foot, so bring your block inside so that your right foot is now outside of the block. And your blocks are, are about shoulder width apart. Your leg is open a little bit. And your foot might be slipping a little bit onto the exterior of your foot. The weight might be on the outside of your foot. Here, similar, you can keep up. Your position is up, head is towards the ceiling. Notice your shoulders, your elbows. Are you going towards your ears? If so, bring your shoulders back. If this feels good on this side, every side always feels different. So if this is good and you're happy here, stay here and bring your attention to your breathing. Try to breathe easy in this position. Otherwise, you can always come down onto your blocks, bringing your forearms down. Some people are able to get all the way down to the ground, so wherever you can go, keeping in mind the, the alignment, keeping your head straight, neck long. And here, we'll do the square breathing together. So inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold your breath for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold your breath for one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold your breath, one, two, three, Four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold your breath, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. 
bring your attention to your breathing or to the music or even to the contact points of you with the ground and how you're being supported by the ground beneath you. So your foot that's on the plant here on the right side, your forearms that are on the blocks maybe, or your hands on the ground, the front of your left leg. Bring your attention to those parts of your body, but also the sensation that those body parts have on the ground. Slowly here, come back onto the blocks. Hands are on the blocks. Bring your right foot inward, bringing your block outside. So your right foot is inside your block. Maybe you readjust the position so you have more stability. And then bring your hands to your front right leg. You might notice one side for some reason is more stable than the other. And here, slowly bring your hands up towards the ceiling. Maybe bring your hands together at the top. Reaching up, head is towards the ceiling, gaze goes up. Feeling the pull in your abdomen. Slight backward bend here. If this is feeling good, you can keep here. If not, come out of it, hands back to the block. If you're staying up, if you're more balanced on this side, you can always try reaching back behind you, seeing how that feels. If you're able to do it, just testing out the balance, maybe keeping your hand up, and then turning around to the other side. And then come back to the blocks. Slowly here, bring your right foot back in front. And now you're back to the tabletop. Bring your props on the side. And here, if it feels good, move around your spine, cat cow, downward facing dog, pushing into your hands and feet, bum in the air, walking out your feet. Slowly come back. And then here, what we're gonna do is lie on to our stomach. If you'd like to take a moment and drink some water here, you can before you come onto your stomach. Lying on the ground, you can place your hands, palms on the ground, forehead onto the palms, and just take a moment. And then slowly here, open your arms up so your torso is in a T-shape and place your right cheek on the ground. So your arms are wide and stretched out by their side here. And your right cheek is on the floor. And then slowly here, what we're gonna do is bring the left hand by your side, so by your chest. So the left hand is on the floor by your chest and slowly hinge your left foot onto the tippy toe. Slowly push into your left hand, rolling over onto your right shoulder. Bring your left foot behind you. Here, you can stay here. If you're feeling this is a little challenging for a few moments, what you can do is always bring a prop for your head. So coming back, you're on your right shoulder and then you can place a, pl a prop for your head. So we've rolled over onto the right shoulder. Here you can keep your left hand here to support you. Or you can open up a little bit, bringing your left hand to your hip, opening your chest a little wider. We're not holding this too long. We're just opening the shoulder. 
breathe into it. Inhale here, and then exhale slowly. Bring your hand back to the crown if it was on your hip. Roll back onto the front, moving your prop aside, keeping it handy. And then here, left cheek on the ground. Slowly bring your right hand by your side, next to your chest, hinge your right foot, and then slowly start to push into your right hand, you're turning around, you're rolling onto your left hand this time, and then open up, maybe placing your head onto a prop, and then bring your hand to your hip if that feels good, opening up just a little further. Every side of the body is different. Maybe this side is a bit more sensitive. You can always keep your hand on the ground, your right hand on the ground for support. Breathe into this, close your eyes. I'm not holding this too long. Then slowly move your prop aside, the one that you use for your head. Come back onto your stomach, rolling out. And then bring your hands in front of your forehead again and lower your forehead down onto your hands. Slowly here, push into your hands. And then come back into a seated position, turning around onto your back. Here, if it feels good, you can always, before you lie down, windshield wiper your legs. Just bringing your knees to the ground. Your hips might come up, it's okay. And then position yourself, take some space here, and lie on your back. Slowly here, bring your knees into your chest. Here may be a wider position. You'll feel the soreness between your, for your legs that we had done earlier. And then rock yourself side to side. If it's accessible, you can always grab the outsides of your feet, happy baby, as if your feet are towards the ceiling, walking on the ceiling, or you can grab onto your thigh. And then slowly bring your feet back to the ground. Lift up your, he your hips here and move your hips over to the right side, keeping your upper back in the same place. Knees are up in the air, and then bring your knees down onto the left side. So hips go right, knees go left. And here, keep your back on the ground. You can always put a pillow between your knees. Once you're set up, maybe you put a pillow underneath your right arm, whatever works for you today. And then stretch out your arms or bring a bend into your arms. and turn your head in opposite direction of your knees. If you're not feeling much of a twist here, you can always have your right knee go closer towards the ground and you're stretching out your, your left leg underneath you. Your right knee is going closer to the floor.
In this position, close your eyes and bring your attention to your breathing. As you inhale, notice how you're breathing into the right side body. How the right side lifts with every breath you take. How you seem to sink a little deeper with every exhale. Here, notice your forehead, let go. Your jaw, let go of that as well. Try not to hold any additional tension anywhere. Even your left foot might be holding your muscles or holding your glutes. Slowly bring your head back to neutral, towards facing the ceiling. And then slowly bring your knees back up. And then shift your hip back to the center. Here you might keep your feet about mat width apart, let your back neutralize a little bit. Maybe bring your knees into your chest, that might feel good. Rock side to side, give your knees a bit of a hug here. And you can always do the one where your knees are open by the sides of your torso, a little wider. Do what feels good here. Then bring your feet back to the ground. And then lift your hips up and move your hips over to the left side. Knees are up and drop them over to the right side. Here it might feel different. Maybe you need the prop between your knees. Maybe you don't. If you don't feel you're having much of a twist, always bring your top leg. So the left leg now can go a little further down towards the floor and you'll feel a bigger twist on the left side. Here, open your arms or bring a bend into your elbow, <clears throat> depending on the space you have keeping your back flat on the ground, and then turn your head 
in the opposite direction of your knees. Feeling the twist on the on the left side this time, breathing into the left side body. You can always stretch out your right leg underneath, maybe pushing your foot a little further back behind you, seeing how that works for the stretch, maybe it helps you. Bring your attention to your breath. Notice how your left side body is lifting with every breath you take, and then how with every exhale, you feel yourself sink a little deeper. Let go of any extra muscles here in your face, your jaw. Even your tongue might be touching the top of your mouth. Let go of the muscles in the right leg. Maybe your glutes, your hands. Find Yin teaches you to breathe through the discomfort and knowing that you will get to the end of it and you will feel better. Here, with every stretch that we do here, you probably noticed that as you kept this position, the stretch became less acute, and now you're getting a lot more comfortable in the pose. Your body is relaxing into it. Notice the change in the muscles and how they feel. Slowly bring your head to neutral. 
the face is facing the ceiling. And then bring your knees up and slowly shift your hips to the center. And here it might feel good. Knees into the chest. Rock side to side, knees a little wider here outside of the torso. And then bring your feet down to the ground. So what I would suggest here is doing the lower back. So bringing your blocks with you by your side and lifting your hips and placing a block on the lower level underneath your sacrum, the hip bone. Here you can always check if you're in the right place, lift your feet, no pain, no pinching. Keeping on the lower level, what we're gonna do is just stretch out our legs for a moment. So bring the right, the left knee into your chest and straighten out your right leg. So flexing your right foot, left leg is into your chest, right leg is flexed, just stretching out. Then bring your right knee into your chest, flex out your left foot, holding this for a moment. Once again, switch over legs, switch over, keeping the feet flexed onto the top block. And then lower your feet. And then slowly lift your hips up and place the second block if you like, or you can always turn the block that you have underneath you onto the medium side. So from flat onto the medium side and just keep your back on this section. Or you can make both higher levels. Some days that feels good flipping the block on the highest level, or you can always flip this second block on top of the first block. Coming up on your tippy toes. Always checking, readjusting, lifting your feet up, up towards the ceiling. If you're able to get your feet up towards the sky, you can always do rotations with your ankles. One way and then the other way. And then bring your feet back to the ground. Always moving slowly. Tuck your shoulders behind your back. Place your hands on the ground, palms facing the ceiling. Here it might feel good to have a pillow between your knees. It takes away the pressure from your legs to have to hold themselves up. You can always widen your feet on the mat here. Let your knees topple inward. If at any point things don't feel good, always readjust. Every day is different. Our body feels different every day.
here slowly come up onto your tippy toes, lifting your hips and moving the block underneath out and just lowering onto the first block or lowering onto the first level of the first block that you flipped. And then lift your hips once again and remove the last block. Here, same, it might feel good to bring your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Once you're ready, stretch out your legs. You might put a bolster or pillow underneath your knee. A pillow underneath your head. Even pillows underneath your arms. Just get comfortable here. Adjust your shoulders so that your shoulder blades are flat on the ground. Palms are facing the ceiling. And close your eyes. Notice the contact points of your body on the ground here, your heels, your legs, the back of your arm, and your shoulders, your head. Notice the sensations of the ground underneath you. Just let your body relax. Let your body take in the practice and all the stretching and movement that we did. I think these types of classes are wonderful just because it helps us slow down. So I'm just going to read a little poem and it's called Slow Down. Slow down, life is not a race. Stop and breathe, reduce your pace. Life can only be lived one moment at a time. Have faith that it will all work out fine. Focus on the present, your blessings, the gift that is you. Gratitude, calmness, and peace will see you through. So slow down, life is not a race. Be gentle with yourself, reduce your pace.
when you're ready, slowly open your eyes, bring some wiggles into your hands and feet. Maybe give your body a big stretch, pulling your hands overhead and pulling your feet straight and long. And then bring your knees into your chest and slowly come onto one side, right or left side. Push into your hands and feet. Coming up into a seated position, 